Her senior season has been outstanding so far. Allie Yerkowitz, the defending Division II state all-around champion, has won almost all of her meets this season. And until recently, she held the state's highest score for either division. I don't know if it's because I'm a senior or what it is, but I just feel so motivated and focused and very determined this year, I believe. This year, I think more than any year, she's more mentally prepared than ever. Physically, she's always strong. She can pull out pretty much anything on any given day. Her coach says consistency and avoiding major miscues are two factors that have helped Allie reach a new level this season. It probably doesn't hurt that she's fun to watch, too. The way she just presents her routines and stuff, it's, she just has a really nice like poise about her routines that the judges love and everyone likes to watch. A multi-sport athlete, Yurkowitz plays volleyball and was a state qualifier in the pole vault last spring. Allie is, of course, intense and focused while working on her gymnastics skills, but she also has a way of keeping the mood light at practice. I don't even know what to begin to tell you about just some of her antics. Any given day I can look at my phone and there's silly pictures of her or videos where she's making goofy faces. I mean, she's a good captain. She like keeps us all in line, but she's also a lot of fun to have around. Um, yeah, it just keeps practices fun and I don't know, she's just nice to everyone. While teammates enjoy Allie's antics, they also love her dedication to the team. Of course, Allie would love to win another individual championship, but she's more concerned with the team repeating its state title. Whitefish Bay is the defending D2 state team champion and owns two state titles and one runner-up finish with Allie on the team. Coach always tells us to, that our team is like most important, and so we always focus on our team score, and then if the individual happens, it happens. But to me, it's all about team, getting our team to our goal score, to what we think we need to get. Without the support of these girls cheering around the sidelines and giving her all that mental support, she wouldn't be where she is today. And the team is kind of the most coveted thing. I mean, all around definitely as well, but um, her team is so supportive. Um, Allie loves these girls like family, her being an only child, you know, this is like her little family. This season, the Blue Dukes have suffered some injuries, Allie feels overcoming that adversity may have brought the team even closer together. I think it's really unified our team as well because now we have this close-knit team who really works together and I think that that's what makes your team succeed. Allie's future plans include studying to become a nurse. Her interest in the profession was fueled by personal experience. Around this time last year, Allie's mom was battling breast cancer while Allie and her teammates were working their way towards state championships. I went down off the podium, I went up to coach, and she said, go say hi to your mom, and I ran up there and I gave my mom a hug, and it's a picture of us hugging, and I just think it was so much more special to know that she fought through what she did, and I fought through helping her, and it was just such a good experience, I think, and she's doing a lot better now, she's cancer free. While Allie doesn't compete in club gymnastics anymore, she still spends a lot of time here in the so-called off-season working with Whitefish Bay's rec department program. The entire team gathers around as Coach Mary Lineski does the honors courtesy of Boston Store. Congratulations, Allie, for being the featured student athlete of the week. Congratulations. Yeah. 